Oh, hey there. Let me just get out of the car real quick. So, as you guys could already notice, I have my 2017 Camaro SS right here. And uh, the reason being is because I'm actually gonna be doing a video on the five things that I absolutely love about my 2017 Camaro SS. So if you guys are looking to buy a Gen 6 Camaro, maybe you wanna watch this video and see the things that have made me buy this car instead of the competition so let's get started so, so the first thing that i absolutely that was weird but anyways the first thing that i absolutely love about my 2017 camaro ss has to be the looks so obviously right now my car is not stock it has a carbon fiber lip different wheels from belgian the vf5 wheels are super ultra lightweight and of course it is lowered an inch so but still from factory i absolutely love how it looked it looked very aggressive especially in the front I mean, the front of this car is just super aggressive, in my opinion. And of course, if you look at the side, the, just those hips, they're, um, they're actually pretty wide. So that's one of the things that really drew me. So let's get a little bit closer here and, uh, and look around. So yeah, look at, just look at the front, guys. Obviously, the front lip looks like more, even more aggressive, but I just love how it looks. And those hips right there, just wow. It, I mean, three years later, and I'm still in awe by how this car looks. It's a, it's a great feeling. It hasn't happened to me before with my previous cars. So I'm really happy with it. And I'm sure if you guys are looking for a new car to purchase, I'm sure you're looking at Mustangs, Chargers, Challengers, and maybe this one since they're all muscle cars now. All right, guys. So second thing that drew me the most to this car, I'm gonna show you right now. And uh, let me see if I could open this in the room. And uh, come on, let me, it's fun. Aha. So, second thing that drew me to this car has to be that LT1 engine that this car does come with. 455 horsepower, 455 pound-feet of torque, right out of the factory, and it is a 6.2 liter V8, which on top of that sounds amazing, in my opinion. <laughs> so I'll put a little clip in here so you can hear how it sounds. And after hearing that, I'm sure all you guys are like, holy crap. And yes, I do have that performance exhaust, which has valves, which I actually took out the fuse because, you know, whatever, I, I want it loud at all times. So yeah, second thing that drew me the most was just how much power this engine has. And that is an aftermarket intake and I did win it, so I didn't have to pay for it. Um, but you know, didn't have that much power, but I, I, I absolutely love this engine. And on top of that, this engine even being a v8 it does get pretty good uh gas mileage if i say so myself uh going from here from miami to the keys i actually did average like 30 miles per gallon plus like i think it was 33 the final like what i finally saw and i was going like 55 to 60 miles per hour so uh you know it took me like maybe 100 something miles and i just couldn't believe my eyes that i was able to average so much uh, on this car and of course it is a six-speed manual so i know you guys are probably thinking oh cylinder deactivation no no cylinder deactivation just straight up and there's the guy with the leaf blower so um yeah great gas mileage great power and let's continue on with the other things that i love about this car all right guys so the third thing is has to be the cockpit view right so the interior i absolutely just love um i really do it's very comfortable the steering wheel all in all like the steering wheel the interior in my opinion looks very nice the steering wheel is a little bit smaller than you know the regular uh, i guess the camaro i mean the <laughs> the camaro <laughs> the mustang the charger and the challenger i really like the steering wheel it is a flat bottom steering wheel which i really like as well leather wrapped of course perforated leather here on the on the sides of uh, through the center and i just feel like it's such a nice view in here i know people complain about I guess the visibility in this car, but I got used to it in like less than a week. So not a big deal at all, guys. Like really not a big deal. You just gotta get used to it. And um, 
I'm just gonna be comparing it to like the, the Mustang and the other cars. I mean, this one you feel, I, in my opinion, I felt like I was a lot more connected uh, to the car, and uh, in the sense that it was uh, so, I felt I feel very tight in here, and like the road feels, I feel all the bumps on the road, which I really like, and the steering wheel is just a different feel. It's so small, so I feel like I don't know, I'm more like in a race car. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> That's just my opinion. So yeah, that's the third thing I really loved about this car and one of the third, like the things that made me buy this car actually. All right guys, so the fourth thing that I absolutely loved about this car and one of the things that actually made me buy this car has to have been the infotainment system, which I really like. It's actually, the screen is not that big. Uh, I think it was like seven inches, whatever. I'm not I'm not too sure. And um, yeah, so I really, I really liked it. Um, especially for the price point of this car which was thirty-seven thousand dollars that i paid out the door so you compare it to the other cars that were on the market and i wanted a brand new this screen was probably the best screen that i was going to get for that price and uh it's pretty responsive so you can see here that i'm going back and forth through the different menus and it selects it right away so click home audio home settings so it's really responsive and i really like that it does come with apple carplay and android auto which is great <laughs> in my opinion um so yeah guys i really couldn't I, I, that's a, the, another thing that i really liked about this car the infotainment system and then the final thing the transmission boy do i love this transmission i'm not i'm not even gonna lie i absolutely love this transmission six speed manual and the clutch feels it is so soft the transmission like shifting between gears smooth as butter and uh, i mean i really have no complaints about it. it it felt so easy to drive especially when i came out of a subaru wrx which i don't know if you guys have driven that it's uh the transmission at least a five-speed one that i had a 2011 wrx uh yeah it was a little a little rough but going to this one and then comparing it with the Mustang, the Mustang transmission is pretty good too. But I felt like this was so easy to drive. Like I didn't like, uh, man, I just loved it. And of course, it does have uh, auto ref match, so when you could just you know power back, uh, turn on the auto ref match, and you could downshift like a pro every single damn time. And you don't have to worry about destroying your clutch. So that's a, that was a huge plus for me. Also, I mean, I don't use it that often, but when I do on the highway, which is just easier to downshift. Oh my god, what a what a great thing to have. <laughs> so yeah guys, those are the five things that I absolutely love about my 2017 Camaro SS and it's three years later. I bought it three years ago. So I wanted to make this video just to, to let you guys know that now is around the time that a lot of people trade in their cars. Obviously they get like three year leases on their Camaros. And um, yeah, me three years after purchasing this car, I have no complaints. I don't think I'm gonna trade it in anytime soon. Uh, just because everything on the market hasn't really changed that much. It's pretty much the same around the same amount of power. The looks are around the you know whatever, nothing crazy. I think still looks better in the newer generation uh, Camaros, in my opinion. And um, I think it looks a little you know better in the Mustang and the Charger and the Challenger. Although they are looking a little bit better and better every single time. But man, I just I don't see a reason for me to trade this car in at all. I really don't. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. It's just me talking crap about this car and telling you the things that I love, but maybe it helps you guys, uh, you know, lean toward buying a Camaro and join the Camaro fam, <laughs> or maybe buy a Corvette, whatever, who knows. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It helps me, definitely helps me, uh, you know, gain more traction. Of course, it will get me closer to my 500 subscriber goal that I want to reach by June of 2020. But that's it for me, guys. Um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.